Jordan, do you want to take us into the three avenues that can help people make a choice to get started? Yeah, so I agree with everything you said was spot on. I was like going to reiterate two of them um, that I always think are important before you kind of do a deep dive into your emotional state. And one of which I call it eliminating noise in the body. And it's kind of like what Kelly talked about when um, what you're eating isn't helping you. That's disturbing your gut health um, or affects hormones that's going to impact your emotions so it's kind of important to do those first steps before you do a deep dive um, to your emotions and then the other one what she talked about was practicing reflection and being honest with yourself and checking in um, and saying like what is my language like what emotion am I feeling to really understand what emotions you're dealing with because a lot of emotions are really similar right and so I'm saying oh, I'm mad at this person, you should reflect and say, well, am I really mad or am I disappointed? Um, do I feel betrayed? Do I feel my trust was broken? All of those can feel like mad or anger, but if you keep going deep down, you can kind of get smaller and smaller until you find the emotion or action that lets you then realize how you should tackle it. So I'm a big proponent of self-reflection, being self-awareness, like Kelly talked about with your words and how you're speaking, practicing gratitude and positivity. If your sentences always start with, I can't do that, um, I have a hard time doing this, or, or whatever it is, um, it's important for you to be aware of that so you know what oils and emotional avenue you should use to conquer that. So I wanted to show you guys three clear avenues for finding emotional breakthrough um, with essential oils. And I'm going to show you three different product sets depending on where you are in your life. So the first one, um, you should ask the question to yourself is, do you have things you need to let go of? So are there past traumas in your life where there may be really negative relationships um, that could be romantic, it could be at work? could be a friendship even. Um, are you blaming others for where you are in your life? You know, like, do you feel like there are some really negative, heavy things that you carry with yourself? And um, if you do, I recommend starting with this book called Conquering Toxic Emotions. And you can get that from Growing Healthy Homes. I can list it in the comments. Um, and then they now do a PDF workbook, which is better, I think, than this. But this book is in the workbook is going to walk you through different oils to use and um, where to apply them and let you really work on letting go of these things that you're carrying with you. I did this about a year and a half ago, I think, and I already think I need to do it again. It's not one of those things that's a one and done, but something you might have to continually check in with. Um, but I remember when I first started working through this workbook, I would put some of these oils on and read the passage in the workbook and I'd be like crying and I'd have no idea like why I was crying, but I knew like my body was holding on to something um, that I wasn't really even acknowledging, I think, and I needed time and I needed help and like the help of the aromatherapy to really let that go. Um, so if you feel like you're stuck and you have these things in your past that are holding you back. I really recommend starting with the conquering toxic emotions journey. Um, and then for the second avenue, if you're like, you know what, I don't really feel like I have anything holding me back or I'm not blaming anyone in my past, but maybe you feel like you could use help finding more gratitude or just working on your mindset and your language. I really recommend the feelings kit. And I don't have, I threw away the box. <laughs> I don't have the box, <laughs> but I have the oils here. So it comes with um, five oils. One, two, three, yeah, five oils, um, emotional oils. And another tip for emotional oils is think purple. A lot of our emotional oils are in a pink and purple family. Um, but I really like this too when you're going through changes or there's something happening in your life to grab the feelings kit. So there, there's a little protocol that I can put in the comments as well. And I just keep this printed out actually and on one of our side tables in the living room. It's something that really helped. We recently kind of went through some health scares with our dog and we thought we might have to put him down and he was really sick. And Miles and I were just like crying every day and we were a mess. Um, and so I left this out and each of us would just take time each day going through the feelings kit protocol. And so what you do is you start with valor and it tells you where to put it and an affirmation to say. So kind of like Kelly was showing you that book where that one had like everything 
every emotion you could ever feel. This is like a mild down version where you're just going to focus on five oils. Um, and so like, for example, valor, you start with applying to your feet and your affirmation you say is, I am courageous and grounded in everything I do. I am ready to transform my life. And then you go through and you apply them to different parts of your body that match with the oil blend. So it comes with valor, harmony, forgiveness, release, present time, and inner child. And I really like the forgiveness oil. If you guys learn, have learned anything about frequencies, frequencies are all about like the energy of things and the energy in our bodies. And forgiveness oil has one of the highest frequencies of all the oils um, Young Living has. I think it's like the third. And so imagine if you have maybe something you're holding on to that you're not forgiven, what that's doing to your body. If the act of forgiveness can lift you so much higher in your frequency, what is the act of not forgiving doing to your body? So sometimes if we feel like really lethargic and we're looking and thinking about our energy levels, that's not just about how much sleep we're getting. It's not just about, you know, what we're eating. It's also about what we're feeling. Um, and so if your body has all these emotions it's trying to process all day long, your nervous system gets really, really tired and it has a hard time keeping up with your daily life. So working on these different emotional avenues is just super, super important for your overall health and energy. Um, because a lot of times this is like the hard stuff to deal with. And so we just put it to the side and we don't deal with it. So, um, I love the feelings kit. Um, I think it's probably the most universal and where most people might want to start because it's a great everyday protocol. Um, so for gratitude or positive thinking or shifting your mindset, I think that's important. And then the third avenue um, I call is this is like if you're if you're like, no, Jordan, my life's good. Like, I like it. I feel good. Like, I'm happy. I'm grateful. Like, I know all that stuff then I would say to use the Divine Destiny Collection. And the Divine Destiny Collection to me is all about like leveling up. So if you're like, yeah, I'm doing good. Like life is good. I like my life. I like my job. I like everything that's going on. Then I recommend starting with this trio because it's really going to help you shift and level up to like a higher level of gratitude and a higher level. It's almost like all those feelings are already feeling amplified, like on crack. They're just like 10 times higher. So um, what's nice about the Divine Destiny Collection, too, is it comes with an instruction book. So we love instructions and protocols, and it's gold and shiny. Um, but it comes with three oils, and just the names, like, make me happier. It's Daily Divine, I Am Blessed, and I Am Creative. And what you do is each week you actually start using a different oil. So sometimes when we're dealing with emotions, what people will do is they'll grab, like, every emotional oil they have and toss it on themselves and it's good to kind of one at a time use your oils and use your blend and let your body sit and settle with each one and decide how you feel because an emotional oil that I love might resonate differently with someone else and vice versa one they love might re not resonate with me like I remember I used to hate the smell it says a lot about me I guess but I used to hate the smell of gratitude oil and then when I did, I was like, oh, my God, what does that say about me? Because they say that you don't like the smell of things you need. And I was like, oh, no. So it took me, like, at least a year to like the smell. I was just like, put that back on my shelf, and I never touched it again. And then one day I was like, you know, I'm like, I should, like, try this one again. And I loved it. So I had done some emotional work that clearly allowed me to let go and really work on gratitude in my life. So, um if you're going through enemies and you don't like the smell of them, don't panic. But um, just know that that might be an area you should really focus on. So if like, you open up forgiveness and you don't like it, well, maybe that's something we really need to focus on. Or same with present time. If you open present time and you don't like it, think to yourself, well, am I always rushing through things? Am I really ever sitting still? Am I at peace? So use kind of those cues and those self-reflection times to think about why that might be. And it can be really challenging because you have to be really honest with yourself and really honest about your own flaws and your own things that you need to change, where it's easier for us to project that onto other people. So um, as you're going through any of these, if you don't like them, just keep on trying. Put them lower on the body where you don't smell it as much. But with the Divine Destiny Collection, you're going to start with Daily Divine and you're going to apply just this oil for a week. And then the second week, you add your I am blessed to it. 
and you do that for another week and then the third week you have I'm creative and then you do that one so um it really amplifies each one with each other and so it's important to go through the protocol because if you just start slapping on all three you're missing the beginning you're missing the beginning entry level steps of this emotional journey and it's important for you to walk every step Otherwise, you're going to have to backtrack and start over. You can't skip steps and just like get to manifestation and abundance and be like, oh, you know, glowing aura, whatever it may be. You have to really do the work and that takes time. Um, so remember that you've spent years probably ignoring or not cultivating healthy emotional habits. So it's really important that we're gentle with ourselves because you might start using your emotional oils for a while and you feel great. And then you're going to stop using them because you're like, I don't need them. I feel great. And then a week or two later, you're going to find yourself slipping into those old habits. So it takes a really long time for us to retrain our brain when it comes to the way we think, the way we feel, and the way we talk. And so just be gentle with yourself as you go through these um, steps and really just be honest with yourself what you're going through. And I think you'll notice a lot of breakthrough if you can kind of follow through in that journey. So those are your three avenues. Um, for emotional breakthrough. And if anyone wants any of the links or graphics to how to use these, I can just put them in the comments. Just let me know. And um, I hope you learned something new about your emotions. <laughs> well, I am grateful you gals came on to have this conversation tonight. I have learned so much and I love uh, the main points that you gave in such a short amount of time. Just as a quick review, I love that you reiterated gut health um, and the toxin-free home and how incredibly important that is as some of your first steps. And then the second uh, major thing uh, to think about uh, is that how the role that emotional health plays in our total well-being. I, I think sometimes we don't think about how emotions play with our health. And so the information that you gals gave tonight is absolutely phenomenal um, in that. And I really appreciate having the three avenues to choose from. Um, I think that uh, that helps to clarify where do I begin um, and or where do I where do I uh, reflect uh, to start going through that. So thank you guys so much.